Let me tell you a story of how I went from this to this and this to this in 18 months of playing Apex Legends Mobile. I first found out about Apex Legends Mobile from a content creator called Imo. He was the first creator that started making content on his game. I always liked Apex Legends on PC and was hella hyped when I found out that it has a mobile version in development. So I followed his videos up until CBT2 got announced back in June 2021. I myself started making content on it in June 2021 with a how to install video. The download is gonna look like this in your folder right there, okay? Click it, bam, files finishing downloading. All right, not bad. Anyway, shortly after this video, I dropped my first ever gameplay video in third person perspective. Basically, I came from COD M, Battle Royale. So TPP was the easiest way to transition into the game. Look at the freaking gameplay, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Fast forward a couple of weeks later, I dropped my very first guide. Well, kinda. I wasn't quite sure how to make guides yet, so I just got some gameplay footage and slapped some lower third animations to give a few tips out. Then, in July 1, 2020, I finally dropped my first ever proper guide. Apex Legends Mobile Beginner's Guide. How to play Apex Legends Mobile. Holy cow, that's a long title. All right, let's check it out. Yo, what's good, Conan? It's your boy, I stream, and welcome to my Apex Mobile Beginner's Guide. I know a lot of you guys are very, very eager to start playing a game again when it drops the new service in July. Oh my god, bro, what is that energy? Where's Ice Cream? Back then, when I thought, because everyone's guides were like the same old monotone and professional vibe, I thought I had to do the same. My god, who is this guy talking though? Fast forward four weeks later, CBT3 China came out. This was by far the most challenging beta we had up until soft launch. Bugs were crazy, hackers were running rampant, and the game kept on crashing. But the community pushed through. Portable Predators launched a kill race event for content creators. The first ever event held in Apex Legends Mobile. I'm in the we game already. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! I'm in. Oh. I think we're all in the same lobby, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> this event was so stressful and funny at the same time. Basically, we had two hours to get as much kills as we can. The problem was, the game was super unstable. It crashed like seven times for me during the event. It was absolute mayhem. Then in September, CBT4 was due to drop. Apex Legends Mobile Closed Beta 4 is going to be dropped, has been announced to get dropped in September at some point. Hey yo, the energy is definitely better here, child. Let's go. Around about this time was when I started finding crack players like Callistus. This period showed me what potential this game has or had. Sarge! <laughs> Following the delayed release of CBT4, I dropped my first ever real high quality guide. Beginner's guide covering everything new players needed to know. This video took me a week to make. I had to manually put subtitles in, chapters, tons of clips. This was basically the start of my takeover process. Back here, I had like 400 subs. 1.1k views on a 400 sub channel? Epic start. I made sure I had a variety of content aside from guides, gameplays, and news though. I've always been someone that was focused more on having fun. So myself, Rose Smith, and Zach Wilder jumped in a range and had some 1v1s. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> no! No! How is it still alive? No! <laughs> Bow down to me, peasant. Of course, I slapped them both though. <laughs> From here is where I started to shove content in everyone's face. I wanted to be known for guides. I wanted to pop off, so I left no prisoners. Everywhere anyone turned around, I wanted them to see my content. Guides after guides, I took over YouTube. No one could keep up with my output amount and quality. And on November 8, 2021, I hit a monumental milestone. I had broken the 1,000 subscriber goal that every YouTuber aspires for their first goal. After passing this goal, pretty quickly, I knew I had what it takes to be one of the top dogs for content in Apex Legends Mobile. From here, we carried on with a takeover. Average view count on a rise, output still unmatched. Coming into the new year, I think I had about 1,100 subs, and with the announcement of a possible open beta slash soft launch, it was time to up my game even more. I knew this was the turning point of my journey. I knew this was the phase of the game that made Apex Legends Mobile accessible for more regions than the previous beta, so I unleashed the beast. This is when I started working 18 hours a day, 7 days a week for 3 months straight. Soft launch was announced Feb 23, soft launch dropped February 28, 
28 and lasted until March 1. I dropped two to three videos a day. Not a single person could understand how crazy my output was. I was a man on a mission. Look at the view count though. I jumped from 1k to 2.8k to 22k and my movement guide grabbed 95k. Multiple videos grabbed tens of thousands of views and check this one. My first video to break the 100k view count mark was my infamous 100 tips and tricks video. And because of all these videos, I went from 1,000 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers in 10 days. Yup. From the moment I dropped my first soft launch video in March 6, within 10 days, I hit 10k. On top of all this, I also created a website for Apex Legends Mobile. A website that had all my guides in written format along with news and events info. I had a crazy arsenal back then. During the early parts of Feb before Soft Launch actually dropped, I had already been speaking with an EA community manager. They noticed what I'm doing and quickly approached me to make commissioned videos for them. Commissioned videos are different from sponsored videos. With these type of videos, they actually didn't want me to mention that they paid me for it. They wanted it to be authentic. Authentic. I had full control of the whole project. In fact, they didn't want to get involved at all. So I went ahead and started planning, producing and promoting. Behold, the first official video for Apex Legends Mobile. A cinematic learning experience brought to you by iStream. Complete beginner's guide for Apex Legends Mobile. There are also characters called Legends that each offer a unique set of abilities which in turn offers a variety of different playstyles. I will go through the most important things that will help you play the game effectively all while having a ton of fun with your friends. This project was specifically for global release which was scheduled for May 17, 2022. Sometime just before global release, I got picked up by not one but two orgs that would help me shape my future as a content creator. First one was Amplify Influencer Management. These guys have been my rock. From contracts to deals, Amplify had my back. Right before I got signed by Amplify, during soft launch, global official release date got announced. EA got in touch with me again and asked me to make another commission video for them. This time, for the upcoming mobile exclusive legend fate. Soon after all this, homie Sano introduced me to Jeff, the director of mobile for TSM. We got talking and I had a few interviews. After a few negotiations and discussions... Oh my god, 20 seconds! Oh! Oh! TSM iStream Storm is... Oh! I couldn't believe it. Everything felt surreal. One month before all this, I only had just over 1k subs. A few weeks later, a huge avalanche took place all at the same time. From here, I kept on unloading more content, switching up the flavor of my thumbnails as well. Variety of guides, gameplays, reacts, and more. Sadly, as time went by, the state of the game got worse. From persistent bugs to hacker-infested lobbies, the game in a revenue income decline, the game was dying. Yes, it was getting better in some aspects, but fast forward to December, EA announced that season 4 will be delayed by another 6 weeks. This was actually the beginning of the end, but none of us knew it. I did try my best to try and keep everyone happy. I hosted a 12 days of Christmas challenges event that started from Christmas day leading up to the new year to help people have some fun and earn some prizes. I even started hosting daily custom lobbies even though I don't really enjoy them that much, reacting to smaller CCs to help them grow, but come January 31, 2023, Respawn drops a bombshell that shook the entire mobile gaming community. The beginning of the end of a short-lived era. In May 1, 2023, Apex Legends Mobile will be officially terminated, breaking so many hopes and dreams along the way. A day none of us will ever forget. Yo guys, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who supported me for the last 18 months. And like I said in my previous video, this is not the end of it. This may be the end of Apex Legends Mobile and iStream, but I'm going to be moving on to other games. Arena Breakout, Warzone Mobile, Rainbow Six Mobile, any other games that I'm, I think that you guys will enjoy. I'll play it. I'll make lots of guys for it. I'll explain the game, help you guys get started. But yeah, um, I guess the whole point of the video was just to sort of rewind back because this is going to be my last Apex Legends mobile video and I wanted to, I guess, end it on a on a trip down a memory lane. I know it's a bit of a sad story with a sad ending, but hey, I'm not going to sugar sugarcoat it for you guys. So yeah, again, one last time, massive thank you. Big love to you guys and I hope you guys keep supporting me. I'll see you in the next game. Peace.